So in the last bull run of 2021, I made an insane amount of money with investing as little as $4,000. It really changed my perspective on money. It made me realize just how poor I really was. And I learned a lot about wealth creation. And today it's like second nature. Whether you like crypto or not, it is by far the easiest and fastest way to create enormous fortunes. I didn't become a multimillionaire, but two of my friends actually did and they did it by being extremely offensive in the crypto market. Currently, we're in a bear market, meaning that basically all cryptos are essentially at the bottom. While most people will not touch crypto at this point, if you believe that another bull run will happen, which I do, then today is actually a good opportunity to invest. Not only that, but I happen to believe that the next bull run will be the investment opportunity of the century, a so-called hyper bull run. But here's the thing. If you build a good crypto portfolio today, which is not hard at all, and if you just mix the blandest and safest coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum, you will still see a return of at least 10x in the next bull run. There is no other market in the world that can create that kind of return on investment. But some coins, they'll even do 100x or even 1000x. I've had several coins that have gone up 1000x. So today, I'm going to be sharing some valuable principles that I have learned about investing in crypto. And by the way, if this is your first time here, do a hashtag new sub so I can properly welcome you. Now, before we dive in, let me emphasize that this is obviously not financial advice. However, it is worth noting that financial advisors might not be the best people to look for for insights since they are often stuck in a nine to five grind themselves. So be careful who you take advice from. And most importantly, do your own research. If you choose to follow the principles that I have learned, here is what you need to know about me. I do have a university degree in economics slash business administration, and I've worked as a consultant for the past 15 years. And I've often worked with creating forecasts and predictions, and my work actually has stellar forecast accuracy. So I do consider myself a bit of an authority on making good forecasts, but even I can't predict the future with 100% accuracy. So let's explore some essential points that can guide you in your crypto investment journey. Research is your best ally in the crypto world. It is essential to delve into the details of each cryptocurrency you are considering. You have to understand the technology, the team behind it, the real world problem it aims to solve and the potential use cases. Avoid relying solely on price prediction and influencers hype. Instead, make informed decisions based on thorough research. The reason I stress that it's important to do your own research is because there is a lot of opinions and theories out there. Twitter or X as it's called now, is a place where everyone is suddenly a crypto expert. Understand that predictions are good, but never actually conclusive. I like to do this thing where I take the average prediction of a certain coin from most crypto influencers, and I look at it rationally, and I subtract if the average predicted price is way too high. I look at market caps, which I believe sets the ground for a very realistic possibility examination. And that's why I know that the general prediction of coins like XRP is way, way too high. And I'm sorry, XRP evangelist, but it is. Investing is boring for most people. That's because society has trained you to think that money is bad, risky, or the classic root of all evil. Society doesn't want you to be financially independent. If you were rich, how would you stay productive in a wage slave society? Now, I don't know how to make you more interested in crypto investing. Maybe crypto just isn't your thing. It can be very technical sometimes, and maybe you're better off investing in commodities or stocks. But I suggest that you at least try doing some research on it before you give it up completely. Because again, the gains are huge. So in the world of crypto, volatility reigns supreme. And the first rule of thumb is to invest only what you can afford to lose. Crypto prices can fluctuate wildly, so it is crucial to exercise caution and not invest money that you can't afford to part with. If you really think about it, there is no such thing as a safe, risk-free investment. Anything can crash. Some investments are considered safer than others, but I've seen many sure things fail, and I've lost a lot of money in crypto, but my average return on investment is quite high. It's not because I'm gifted in picking the right coins, 
it's because I have a very sound investment strategy. First, I diversify a lot in crypto because the gain multiplier in crypto is so high, there is no reason to only pick seven or eight coins, especially if you consider that most coins pump at least 10x in bull runs. Another thing I do is I'm quick to execute something called creating a moon bag. That is when you sell the value of the initial investment the moment something pumps. And that way, it doesn't matter if something keeps going up or crashes. Your gain is secured either way. So making a profit in crypto investing is relatively straightforward in theory. The key word here is timing. You buy during bear markets when the prices are low and you sell during bull runs when the prices are high and you diversify your portfolio by investing in various cryptocurrencies, some risky and some safe. But be prepared for the possibility of some coins performing poorly while others surge exponentially. During bull runs, the average return on most crypto investments is around 10x, making it a viable strategy for potential gains. But there are many coins that go 100 and 1000x and beyond, and it's not as difficult as finding a unicorn. I've invested in several coins that have gone up 1000x. One of the biggest challenges in crypto investing is reversing your instincts. Most people tend to invest only during bull runs, missing out on potential bargains during bear markets. To succeed in crypto investing, you have to adopt a contrarian approach. You have to buy when everything is at rock bottom prices and sell gradually when the market peaks. While this sounds obvious and easy, it's not. We are instinctively programmed to not follow this. And it's actually very difficult. Even I find it difficult to buy when everything is low. And when a coin reaches 10 or 100x, it is actually very difficult for me to sell. I get very greedy and I think that it will go up more. That's why you have to have a good exit strategy. You have to plan your sell-offs in advance. Two predictions that I made that made absolutely no sense were Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. These coins were absolutely terrible investment prospects but my gut feeling told me to bet on human nature. People would like them for their cuteness. And I was right. And nobody could have predicted that Elon Musk would be talking about Dogecoin, which made the coin pump to insane levels. Crypto influencers might have a massive following, but their predictions are far from foolproof. Countless cryptocurrencies have skyrocketed unexpectedly, while others with promising prospects have faltered due to unforeseen events. Don't rely solely on influencers' advice. Instead, pick coins that resonate with you and maintain a diversified portfolio for the best average return. Nobody can predict the future. Crypto markets, like any market, depend on a lot of factors and unforeseen events. If you think about it, despite using advanced technology, humans can't even properly predict the weather. A seven day forecast can accurately predict the weather about 80% of the time. And a five day forecast can accurately predict the weather approximately 90% of the time. However, a 10 day or longer forecast is only right about half the time and the markets are far less predictable. From my personal experience working with forecasts and prediction in the food industry market, my average forecast accuracy is about 85%, which is considered high in my line of business. But it's not 100%. And the reason it's high is because it's an average of many products with large selling quantities. Now, when it comes to crypto, most coins go up to at least 10x during bull runs. So in theory, you increase the odds of hitting 10x if you diversify enough. The crypto market can be nerve wracking, prompting impulsive decisions. To navigate this roller coaster efficiently, it's crucial to devise a clear strategy and stay disciplined. When a cryptocurrency reaches 50% of your predicted value, consider selling off 25% and continue this approach as the value rises. That way, you can secure profits while still having the opportunity for more significant gains. So as I said before, nobody can predict anything. Nobody can predict the duration or timing of the next bull run. Therefore, when a bull run emerges, you must capitalize on it. However, always keep in mind that bull runs don't last forever and it's essential to have a plan for taking profits in various stages. And trust me on this one, greed will strike you at the peak of a bull run. 
and you will find it very difficult to sell. There are some coins that I didn't sell and missed out on the peaks because my greed told me not to sell them. I should have sold at least 25% in the beginning. So safety is paramount in the crypto world. Not only are some coins sketchy, but wallets and exchanges can also be vulnerable to hacks or shutdowns. To safeguard your investment, diversify where you store your coins and use different wallets for added security. Now, some people will say that the safest wallets are so-called cold or hard wallets like Trezor or Ledger Nano X. These are physical wallets that you store your crypto on. Well, that's not actually true. The coins are not stored on these things. These gadgets are more considered electronic keys that store your security key phrases. While some argue that these are the best and only option, I think diversity is a better way to safeguard your coins. While I do believe in the potential of decentralized cryptocurrencies and their ability to challenge the control of politicians and banks, it is essential to remain open-minded. The crypto space is not without its share of scams and bad players. Thus, diversification remains crucial to minimize risks and maximize potential gains. Whether crypto proves to be the ultimate future or not, it currently offers substantial opportunities to increase wealth in a short period. There is no other investment opportunity that is as lucrative and easy to get in on. So I often hear people whine and complain that some crypto influencer made them lose a lot of money. And I don't like that at all. I have followed advice from many influencers and I have lost money because of bad tips. But at no point did I blame them for anything. In the end, there's only one person responsible for losing money. It's all on me. The second thing to remember is that people often forget what a prediction actually means. Despite popular belief, a prediction is not the same as actual future price. As I said, predictions are good, but always take them with a grain of salt. And don't blame people for giving you bad advice. You are 100% responsible for your own investments. If you take full ownership of your investment strategy, then you will be incentivized to actually do your own research. So emotions play a very significant role in crypto investing. When the market is in the green, greed often takes over. And FOMO, that's fear of missing out, leads investors to make hasty decisions. Similarly, during bear markets, fear drives people to sell at a loss, missing out on potential future gains. To counter these emotional swings, it is vital to have a well thought out strategy and stick to it, regardless of market sentiment. As I mentioned before, society has programmed us to not invest our money in anything risky. Therefore, we are trained to be very defensive when it comes to our money. But as far as my investing experience is concerned, being more offensive has led to more gains than my previous chicken little only invest in stock bonds strategy. Yes, I have lost a lot of money in crypto, but still I have made more from crypto than any other investment asset. And the only reason I could do that is because I applied a more offensive strategy. Whenever I invest in crypto or any asset for that matter, I fully accept that I might not see that money again. So patience is a virtue in life and in crypto investing. The market can be highly volatile and short-term fluctuations are inevitable. Successful investors understand that quick gains often come at higher risks and are willing to hold on to their investments for a long time. Trust in your research and believe in the projects that you have chosen. If you truly believe that Bitcoin and Ethereum are the only coins worth investing for a long period of time, then you should go for it. Personally, I have a thing for looking for low market cap coins with 1000x potential. Yes, those are much riskier, but the gain potential is so high that I think that it's worth it. I can risk losing what I'm putting in. Now, the crypto market cycles seem to show a pattern of a few years of bear market between each bull run. But personally, I don't trust these cycles because of my experience working with forecasts in general. Statistically speaking, uh, looking at past experience, it's uh, sometimes very pointless. It can give you an indication of what's to come, but it's by no means 100% accurate. But regardless of that, patience is still key. So 
the next bull run might happen next year or it might happen in five years and i'm okay with that i have no doubt that a bull run is coming i just don't know when but with my advanced age comes the virtue of patience i can wait for it so FOMO can be detrimental to your crypto investment journey. When a particular cryptocurrency experiences a sudden surge, the fear of missing out can compel you to jump on the bandwagon without proper analysis. However, chasing trends without a solid understanding of the coin's fundamentals can lead to a significant loss. Stay focused on your strategy and avoid making impulsive decisions driven by FOMO. So one example and area in crypto that I never believed in is NFT. While I do believe the technical and financial potential of NFT, I don't believe in board ape pictures. And I was able to not fall for the NFT FOMO, which saved me a lot of money as pretty much all of the NFTs are worthless today, at least if you compare it to what they were worth once. So, will NFT pump again? Probably. It's even likely. But it just doesn't interest me. Which isn't to say that NFTs are bad investments, it just means that I'm personally more focused on other aspects of crypto, like gaming or DeFi. Crypto investing is a learning experience and you are bound to make mistakes along the way. The key here is to learn from these experiences and use them to redefine your investment approach. Don't be distressed by occasional losses. Instead, see them as opportunities to grow and improve your strategies. Crypto investing is a skill like any other. It's difficult to master, and that's the beauty of that challenge that intrigues me enough to learn more and become a better trader in the future. Crypto investing operates in a relatively unregulated space, and this can expose investors to risks such as scams or market manipulation. While the absence of regulation offers opportunities for significant gains, it's crucial to be cautious and vigilant. Stay updated on regulatory developments and use platform and exchanges that practice according to, well, industry best practice. At the same time, new regulations create problems for popular coins like XRP. When Ripple, the company behind it, was sued by the SEC. Now, Ripple won the case, but it missed out on the bull run of 2021, as most exchanges were afraid to touch it. The crypto community can be a valuable source of knowledge and support. Engaging with like-minded individuals and joining communities that share insights and experiences can provide you with valuable perspectives and tips. Be open to learning from others and contributing to the collective wisdom of the crypto community. I do actually suggest using Twitter or X. God, I hate that name. It will help you find people that you can trust in the crypto community. Just one tip. The moment you see someone trying to sell you access to some Discord server to get better tips, just avoid that person altogether. Not because he or she is trying to scam you, but because they are in it to make money off of you and not crypto. The crypto world is continuously evolving with new technologies, projects, and market trends emerging regularly. To stay ahead, it's essential to keep yourself informed about the latest developments. Adaptability is key. Be open to adjusting your strategies based on new information and changing market dynamics. There is also the Hall of Mirror strategy, where you pick a couple of coins for the long term, and I call these legacy coins. These are coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, and you basically just don't touch them for several years. But personally, because all cryptocurrencies are based on software technology, I don't see the point in blindly believing in, in a coin forever. A good example here is Bitcoin. A lot of Bitcoin believers will flood the comment section with hate for this one, but Bitcoin is one of the worst coins from a technological standpoint. It's slow and it's expensive to move. It's designed that way to make it extremely safe from hackers. But from my perspective, it's not a very good coin. Still, it's considered the safest coin to invest in. And I'm certainly not arguing against that. But again, personally, I'm more into high risk, low market cap coins where you can make 100 to 1000 X. On Bitcoin, you just can't do it from a market cap perspective. In conclusion, investing in crypto can be a rewarding journey filled with opportunities and challenges. Always remember to invest what you can afford to lose and approach crypto investing 
with a long-term perspective. Be disciplined, conduct thorough research, and be patient in your investment approach. Learn from your experiences and stay informed about market trends and regulatory changes. Crypto investing may offer exciting prospects for wealth creation, but it's crucial to remain cautious and vigilant in this rapidly evolving landscape. By following these principles and applying a robust risk management strategy, you can maximize the potential of your crypto investments and you set yourself up for success in the dynamic world of digital assets. Now, as I said before, crypto may be the best option for wealth growth right now, but always stay vigilant, open to change, and prepared to adapt your investment strategies as the landscape evolves. By combining careful analysis with disciplined action, you can navigate the exciting world of crypto and unlock its potential for financial success. If you're new to crypto investing and you want a safe place to start investing, I recommend Coinbase. It's user-friendly. It doesn't offer too many low-cap coins though. And if you're interested in low-cap coins, I recommend using KuCoin. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video or felt it provided some kind of value, I would appreciate if you would tap that like button. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Until next time, stay financially informed, smart, and free. Okay, bye.